Hello, hello! Welcome to my channel, or welcome back. I hope everybody is having a fabulous day. I am wanting to say thank you to a wonderful viewer and a beautiful, great friend of mine. Her name is Vicki May. Vicki, thank you so much. She sent me this pack of coffee. You guys, how generous. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. I am beyond grateful. I want to give some shout outs. <laughs> I started doing this a couple days ago, and I just, I want to show you guys the love and the gratitude in my heart that I have for you. Margaret Sturgill, thank you so much. You're my BFF. Melina Cook Woolham, thank you so much. You've been here since day one. Bessie Hunt, I love you. Wade Smith, I love you. Sam Ward, I love you. Jamie Lyons, I love you. Novella Smith, you're my BFF. I love you so much. Spirit, show me. Woo. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. Okay, what was that? Woo, the world card. Look at there. <laughs> okay, what a way to start. Spirit, show me true, honest, accurate messages for my collective. Show me the true, honest, accurate messages. Oh, that's too many. Thank you. Ooh. Okay, I'm not going to take these. I will take, I will take these. Show me true, honest, accurate messages from my beautiful collective. Spirit, show me true, honest. What is the message? Okay, something flipped. The Ace of Pentacles. I'm not going to take it. Someone's about ready to receive some news, unexpected news. Thank you, Spirit. Yep. About money. About money at a job. Spirit, show me true, honest, accurate messages. Thank you. Wow, yeah. Ace of Cups. What did I just say? There is the... Wow. <laughs> Swiftly. Oh, my goodness. Show me true, honest, accurate messages for the beautiful. That's too many, Spirit. Let's see what we have. No, no, no. Yeah, somebody is getting an increase here in money. Maybe at your job. Show me true, honest, accurate messages for the collective. You could be an Aquarius or a Leo, a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Possibly a Cancer with the Ace of Cups out. Maybe you're dealing with a Virgo or an Aquarius. You could be a Leo. Show me true honest. Is that all spirit? Okay. Thank you. Well, yep. That's the damn truth. Oh, wow. Somebody's getting ready to receive a raise at work. That's what I'm seeing here. Oh, yep. Judgment in reverse. True, honest, accurate messages for the beautiful collective. You're getting good karma. Whoa, the emperor is here. Yep, the judgment and the justice in your, or the emperor, I'm sorry. I wanted to say just, justice is in your favor. You're, you're going to get really good karma here. Somebody is, oh, something just flipped. The lover's card just flipped in the deck. I'm going to take it. Since this is already a good read. Ooh. Oh, wow. Spirit come through. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Like I said, you could be a Leo. You could be dealing with a Leo. And yeah. You could be a Scorpio. Absolute. This is wonderful. Something has not ended here. Okay. At the bottom of the deck. Whoa. <laughs> That's not good. We got the Nine of Swords. Okay. I hope you guys can see these cards. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yep, like I said, you may be waiting on some news about a new job or a new promotion. You've been here at this job for quite a while here. And you're looking for an increase or you're getting ready to hear about a financial increase. Like I said, be patient. 
it's on its way. You're going to receive news. Yep. You're going to receive news about this promotion or this raise coming your way. <laughs> it's going to be unexpected. It's going to be unexpected. It's going to be at the, the least time that you think about it, it's going to happen. Okay, you've thought about it and thought about it until you're blue in the face. I see all this blue here. <laughs> and, oh yeah, you're gonna, it's gonna happen. You're getting this increase, this money. Look at this, huge promotion. Huge, it's coming in. It's coming in, so don't worry. Wow, and Spirit says, yes, that's the damn truth. Woo. Yeah, this is a big increase in money. You could be a cancer or you could be a Virgo. But yeah, you're getting ready to receive all this money. Um, you also, you have someone around you. Look at this. <laughs> this could be a false twin flame. I'm not sure. But you have someone around you that is constantly trying to get money from you or borrow money from you. Uh, wants you to pay for everything. Maybe pay all the bills here something um to do with your money or they could be like ah, why do i keep getting that they're trying to steal money from you this could be a lover well i don't know this relationship is is not good here if this is someone that you're living with or someone that you're married to this relationship is is not it's it's toxic here that's just what I'm getting. I didn't want to say it, but I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say it, you guys, because I, I can't sugarcoat shit. They they want you to spend all your money on them so they can save their money, or that's what spirit's showing me. Something to do with your money, or they know about this raise that you're getting ready to get. Whoever this is, that's trying to constantly use you for your money, or they're very unsupportive in this marriage they don't support you the way that they should they lack interest in you unless you have money <laughs> what yeah that's what i'm getting here that's exactly or they want to borrow money until your next payday they always are constantly asking you for money or they don't even want nothing to do with you until your payday comes along. What? Yeah, that's exactly the energies I'm reading from this. That's what Spirit is showing me. That's the energies that's coming through. Oh my goodness. Now, remember, there's no gender in tarot. It's all about energies. Um, I'm just the energy reader. Okay, so this read may or may not resonate. Take, take what resonates and leave the rest. But I'm just, I'm letting you know, whoever you are, this is what Spirit's showing me. This is your sign. This person is always changing jobs. So this person that you're either with or married to, they're constantly looking for a new job or they can't hold down a job or they make some type of excuses to you as to why they can't work or, I don't know, they want you to keep them up. They want you to keep them up, take care of them. They see you as the boss. They see you with all the money. They can't manage their money right, or they can't manage you right. They can't manage this marriage. They can't handle this marriage right. What, what spirit come through? <laughs> Whoever this is, they don't celebrate your success. They show no interest in your goals. Wow, I, I hate when reads look good and then they just flip, flop, and turn bad. That's why I said at the beginning, this is great. This is a great read. I'm going to have a great read. And now all this, all this shit comes through. <laughs> but I have to, I can't sugarcoat it, you guys. I have to get these messages out. <sighs> yeah, they don't care about you. This person is very manipulative. They keep on trying to keep you stuck. They want you stuck and stagnated, bonded to them. <laughs> they are not who you think they are. This is a stalemate. This lover, whoever you're with, this is a stalemate. They're working against you. Look at this. No wonder I was like 
kind of confused when this death card came out in reverse. I was like, wait a minute. Something's not ended. Something is ongoing. Something continues. Whoever this is that you're with, this is a stalemate. This is a false twin. That's exactly what Spirit's showing me. You're successful and you're powerful. And they know it. You have a lot of options. And this person keeps trying to bound you to them. And and they know this. They know what they're doing. That's why they're on some this some shady shit. And they're making you feel a certain way. They're trying to block your energy or try to keep you down, depressed. You could be up all night, losing sleep, losing patience here. You're losing patience. You feel like you don't have the strength to move, move forward, but then you get on your own or you go within and you find your inner strength here and you know that you can move forward here. Yeah, whoever you're dealing with, this is a false false twin flame, I'm, I'm just going to say. Look, they're trying to block you. That's exactly what they're doing here. They're, they're on some shady shit. They're trying to block you from moving forward or, you know, they know that you want to leave them. They know. Look, they're trying to keep you, they're trying to keep you bound to them. See, I told you, look at this. Ten of Pentacles, this is going on whenever you get this money. They know that you're going to flee. Oh, yeah, that's exactly what's, oh, my gosh, that's exactly the energies I am feeling, I am reading, I feel them coming through, I feel them coming from that person, whoever you're dealing with, Spirit is showing me that this has been ongoing, this is, this could have been, this could be going on for 10 years, look, look at these cards, 9, 8, 10, look at this, yeah, they want you to feel stuck and unbalanced. And you may feel that way because of this stalemate, because of this false twin flame that you're living with. I see you living with this person. This is a home life situation here with the Ten of Pentacles and you're getting ready to get all this money. Look at you. <laughs> yeah, this could be affecting your health. This relationship could be affecting your health. You could be suffering. You could be suffering here. Yeah, that's what Spirit showed me. You're bound and you feel like you, you're you just you're stuck in this energy. I tell you what, this false twin flame is doing you that way. You could be, like I said, up late at night. Or they could be out late at night going to bars, coming home late from work. You don't know where they are. You know, they're out doing their own thing all the time. It could be affecting your health. You could be losing sleep. And you don't even realize, and you're under all this anxiety here. Look at this. In your happy home life, you want your happy home life back. But you know that you cannot, you cannot deal with this person. This person leaves you at this crossroads here. And they don't want you to be successful. They want to steal your money or keep your money from you. They are constantly borrowing. They know that when you save up all this money, you're going to leave. Yeah, look at this. You're going to leave. You're ready to flee. Wow. Yeah, I can't make this shit up, you guys. But whatever this is, your health, you could be losing sleep, like I said. Anxiety, full of stress. You could be arguing. Fussing, fighting, feuding. This is pissing me off. Oh, wow. Yeah, over this money. It's all about money. Everybody's all so money hungry these days. I swear. You know, there's so much more to life. than I know that money is, you know, a wonderful thing. It, it takes care of you and all these things. But, you know, we don't need to be worshiping money. You know, there's so much more. We need to be worshiping the Lord. Come on, Spirit. Come through. Yeah, you, you're constantly having to fight or take your power back. This person's trying to take your power away from you. This relationship is draining you financially, mentally, physically, and emotionally here. You're looking for your strength. You're, you're finding it once you go by yourself or once you go within. You're finding it here. And then late at night, this person's trying to make you feel a certain kind of way. Or maybe when you get ready to go to bed, they rush in, come in, and try to try all this bullshit with you. And 
oh my god, these energies, you guys. But no, you're full of love. Look at you. You're constantly having to defend yourself here. You're going to find the strength and you're going to leave. You're going to take this person to court, whoever this is you're dealing with. But you're so full of love and life and abundance. I mean, I can feel it, you guys. I can feel it. When I pick up your energy cards, I can feel this abundance and this love. You're full of life. Absolutely. But this person tries to keep taking it away. Someone is pissed off mad that you want to live your life on your own or you want to flee or you want to leave. They, they think that, you know, they think that you should love them no matter what. No, you're dealing with a false twin flame here. And I tell you what, you're going to find, you're going to find your inner strength and you're going to leave. You're not going to be bound to this, tied down to this. You're not going to be tied down to this immature, devilish, low vibrational energy. Once you receive this money, mm -mm, like I said, once you receive this money, look, this increase of, of money or this payback or this raise or whatever you're getting ready to receive, you're going to move on. Once you get this influx of money. Yes, you are. Look at you. You're already saving here. You already got this on your mind. You're saving. You're well grounded. You're focused. Look at you. Two of Wands. You're focused. You're ready to see the world. You're ready to go off on your own. You're not looking back. You're looking forward straight into your future. I love you guys so much. This is your read. Please, please go ahead and give me that big thumbs up. And until the next video, peace.